Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essie and today I have a wash and go for you guys. Uh, this is pretty much what my hair looks like two to three days after the wash and go. So when I did film this, it was the day that I washed my hair. So it will be a little bit more deflated and wet, but that's usually the process. And this is a, um, what, what is it called? Three day old hair? Yeah, three days old. And if you actually are interested in seeing how I keep the volume or get the volume back in the morning when I'm like ready to go, uh, just get on my Instagram. I do have a 60 second video on there of how I keep this situation up and risen. And um, yeah, let's just the, get into the video. It's right there. Just see, I am starting off with my hair looks a mess right now. I've got like dried up gel on the edges of my hair i was like messing with it a little bit so it started flaking everywhere but um yeah this is what we're about to start with oh god see it's the only reason why i don't like when gel dries it just it gets everywhere but i'm gonna be doing a quick hot oil treatment it's not gonna i'm not gonna keep it in for as long as i usually do but um yeah just a casual like 10 to 15 minutes or so and um, I will be using the same mix that I always do. I have, I'd say like an eighth of a cup of um, avocado oil, tea tree, peppermint. Tea tree and peppermint, I did eight drops. So it's um, one of these. I did eight drops of this brand, that is. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to get this all up in my hair and then cover it up for a little bit and today I don't even think I'll be able to part my hair because it's it's a lot going on right now it's a lot and I'm not gonna even attempt to get a comb oh maybe we can get a comb through this because that's just not gonna happen like that's that's not happening and I probably should grab hair ties instead of because this is this is not gonna yeah, this is not going to do anything for me. So I'm just going to grab some hair ties and then get this oil all up in there. Then I'm just going to shampoo and condition it because, well, I'll be using the same shampoo and conditioner that I used on the other video. It's the Garnier Whole Blend. This is the conditioner. This one has avocado oil and shea butter. The shampoo is the, it's in the bathroom, but it's the, what is it? Honey Treasures. Same brand. But that one's Honey Treasure. conditioner to this situation with all the oil and everything just with that extra moisture because it's cold outside <sighs> this weather is killing my vibe okay and I am trying so hard to not be bothered with my wigs for now but I am so tempted to just it's about to be a wig situation happening in a few days because this weather is just it's not where it's at
since I'm trying to speed up the process with steaming my hair and having it, you know, get all that oil and all that stuff in it, I'm going to go ahead and sit underneath my um, portable hair dryer situation. Uh, it's like a cap or whatever. Plug it in. You'll see. It's just... And I'm going to use it on um, on hot but low, just because I want to create as much steam in my head as possible. So let's grab this little alien situation. If I can plug it up. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair I'm just gonna use a little bit of conditioner this time I'm not gonna have to um, I'm basically not gonna repeat the whole process of letting the conditioner sit in my hair because I don't feel like it so <laughs> I'm just gonna condition it in the shower you know make sure I can brush all the way through with this detangling brush and then we're gonna get into the rest of it okay so we are back oh a little too much too much uh lip balm on my lips i look crazy but um this is pretty much what the situation looks like when it's wet and shrinking it's all shriveled up and <sighs> shrinkage is our best friend i guess so all i'm doing well all i need right now is going to be a pick eco styler um this is just water this is where i had the oil earlier so i don't really mind having the water in it because it's, it's just water with some oil in it it's not gonna do anything crazy but um yeah so my hair is completely damp and i'm going to show you guys basically uh i'm basically gonna do most of it and then i will leave a patch in the front and basically give you guys like a slow down version of exactly what it is that i do and i am not the type to go roll by roll how people like part it and like do the whole finger thing and then part mm -mm, i don't have that kind of time so i usually do big sections to get it over with because again i don't have that kind of time to the front my hair is like sort of kind of almost dry already so just brush through get some gel just a little bit not too much and then just run your fingers through from root to tip 
back and forth. Let me go ahead and just finish this little section real quick. So then I'm just going to take um, a little bit of gel on my finger and basically kind of like put some on where the part is and just kind of like smush it, like smear it and kind of try to, what's the word I'm looking for? Whatever this is that I'm doing, <laughs> whatever this action is right here, just kind of laying it down. So it just lays like that and then I'm just going to take this one and use this to hold this side. Ow! Ow, that hurt. i hold that. Then I'll grab another one for the other side. I don't understand going on with this clip it's not letting me squish it open all right just like that and I'll let it dry with both the clips like that and then of course the little toothbrush is for the edges you know just to get that get those laid all right so then what I usually do is I will tilt my head forward and just like shake my head and what that does is just kind of Give it some volume, and then when it's air drying, you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna do its own thing, you know? That's that's basically the point that I was trying to make. It's kind of like it loosens them up a little bit. Just a little bit, not that much, but it, it's way better after it's completely dry, but you know. For now, we are deflated in certain sections, but it's okay, because once it's like completely dry, it's just gonna be way better looking than it is right now, because right now it's just, it's decent. Mm -hmm. 